Good afternoon guys, welcome back. Today we need to be finding out about engines and transmissions and two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive. So over to Dean, let's find out a bit more. Of course, so there are again, same as the Type 28, 26, 30, 32, there are again lots and lots of engine derivatives that you can choose from. Many of the diesel engines that they produce today are all 2 litres. They've gone away from producing a heavier 2.5 and then the smaller 2 litre and then uh, possibly a petrol engine which they've now introduced into the 6.1 which we'll move on to later. Um, looking at the different power outputs and different engines, so if we focus on the 2 litre diesel engine at the moment, you can uh, look at uh, the 102 horsepower, still a two litre. Then they upgraded the turbo and intercooler and various internals within that engine to produce a two litre 140 when they brought out the T5. Um, and then we've moved on to T6, which is now the Euro 6 engine, which is a 150 horsepower diesel engine. Moving on to the 6.1, they've now put a bigger out, a power output of a 204 horsepower. So when you're looking for your specific engine, it's, it's an absolute minefield, but it all comes down to what you're actually looking to do with your van. So if you're looking to tow a caravan, say, and you're looking at the T30 or T32, so you have that higher gross vehicle weight, you may want to start looking at um, the 150 horsepower. So you've got the slightly larger turbo built into the engine, the larger intercooler. So it's capable comfortably of towing a greater capacity of weight. Um, or if you are just looking for a comfortable day van with a smaller out, uh, smaller engine, power output, which means more economy, lighter internals, uh, smaller turbo ever so slightly, but that produces the 102 horsepower, which is capable of the van as, as a day van, absolutely capable. Um, but if you were then looking at towing with that vehicle, you might want to start looking at something like the 150 or, or above. There's also a difference in the gearbox, isn't there? With the manual gearbox, there's a five speed and there's a six speed. Correct. So the smaller of the two two litre diesel engines that they produce, there's the 102 horsepower, which only carries a five speed gearbox. The 150 with the gear ratio set up for that greater power output, they have introduced the six speed uh, gearbox into that. So that's the six speed manual or the five speed manual. A lot of our customers aren't too worried about that if they're looking for a really nice camper van or a really nice combi. However, others who are looking to maybe go touring around Europe are looking for that six speed so they can put it into that sixth, creating a much longer gear ratio at higher speeds and a better fuel economy result as a, as a result of that gearbox. And then on from that, you've got an automatic as well, wouldn't it? Yep, then you go on to the automatic. So with the automatic gearbox, um, we need to lose a lot of our um, misconceptions with automatic gearboxes. The gearboxes have come a long way. Volkswagen have designed um, a, a gearbox called the DSG. So when a lot of our customers say they're looking for an automatic, they struggle with that. It's because it is titled DSG. So DSG stands for direct shift gearbox. The direct shift gearbox is made up of um, a twin clutch system. So it carries two clutches, which are managed electronically with the gearbox split in half. So the even numbers down one side, the odd numbers down the other. So it'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. The, the benefits of using the direct shift gearbox and having that automatic gearbox is uh, a great saving on fuel economy. They're much more efficient these days. And that is because of the sophisticated twin clutch system. To give you a slight explanation of how that twin clutch system works, when gear one is selected by clutch on the first side the second gear will already be pre-selected by the gearbox ready for that gear change upwards and that will work all the way up and back down through the gearbox uh, gear range sorry in the gearbox depending on your speed so if you're speeding up the gearbox will uh, learn and know to go to the next gear up and as you slow down it will be pre-selecting the next gear down anticipating the slowdown making gear changes much smoother making your efficiency the engine efficiency and fuel economy a lot better perfect and then just the last thing as far as transmission is concerned two-wheel drive the full motion yeah okay similar one. similar to most of the vehicles that you're, you're familiar with today a lot of european vehicles are front wheel drive over on the continent in germany a lot of sort of bmw and vehicles like that will run rear wheel drive with the vans that they produce all of the vans are front wheel drive when you're looking at the two wheel drive options 
They do, however, produce what they call a four motion, or a, uh, it's what we would know as a four by four. They call it a four motion, and that has got an adaptive four wheel drive system in it, which will give you power to the rear adaptively for the front wheels. It's available, slightly rarer to find. There aren't many about. It comes with its um, pros and cons, and that might be that with the four wheel drive, you're pushing four wheels. So the fuel economy will obviously have an effect on that. However, the, the pros from that are that you have better traction if you're towing or touring, and depending on where you live and the road conditions of where you are, that full motion is, is, is a granted for that. Excellent. Again, thank you very much, Dean. No Always problem. Appreciate it. More than welcome. Next time, we're going to be finding out about the various different models, the van, the combi, 